Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Grounded. This is episode 19. Last time we went up into the upper yard and we fought a bunch of termites and got ourselves a new termite axe, which is one of the new tools we require to get new resources. But the main bottleneck for our technology right now is going to be getting the Black Ox Hammer. And that means we need to fight a Black Ox Beetle, which we didn't even try to do last time, but... That is going to be our main goal today. We're going to go over there and we're going to try and kill one by stacking a bunch of buffs and whatnot. We're going to use every advantage we can get because once we kill, you know, one or two of those enough to make the hammer, then we can start harvesting a whole bunch of new resources that'll get us new armor and new weapons. But we need that hammer first, so that is our main goal. And then if we get that, maybe we'll be able to get a new spear or something to better fight the termites so we can get that chip. But, for now, we're just gonna head back over to the upper yard. And we're going to eat. Unfortunately, we don't have any recipes right now that'll actually give us, like, combat advantages. The case of the antlion does give us thorns, but ideally we don't want to be taking damage. Also, we're gonna need to scan that roly-poly shell we got last time, as well as some wooden splinters. I used our termite axe to grab on the way back, because those things are pretty much everywhere. I think they're only mostly used for making better arrows than the feather arrows, but they might have another use or two. Other than that, we're pretty much going in there with the same stuff. Uh, I made a few more smoothies of the ones we already had, though I did make a uh, sticky human food this time, so that we will actually get the buff for longer. So I think we're going to pop one of those and a liquid rage when we fight the black ox beetle. And then use the other ones for healing. Uh, I might chuck a brat burst at them just to see if we can get some uh, opening damage off. Because I think the easiest place to find them is going to be in that trench where we saw one last time. Because uh, when I was walking back, I saw two of them down there. So it seems like a good place to find our initial kills. Gonna get up here. I really wish there was a more convenient way to get up here. But I think I mentioned before that ladders do not seem to work well for... Uh, going high. Specifically because building them doesn't seem to work. You can't climb a ladder while carrying, like, planks. So, you can't bring the planks up that you need to make the walls higher to attach the ladder to. Which is why we're using this goofy bounce web. However, I think this is probably still faster than going up a ladder. Alright. Let us return. <laughs> So yeah, that trench is just behind the barbecue spill, and I don't remember Black Ox Beetles being too bad in the pre-release version, however, they may have gotten a buff as well. And as we saw last time, our gear is in danger of breaking when we fight this stuff because they do a lot of damage. No, oh, did I not actually eat? Yeah, we're just gonna eat the mac and bees for now, just to fill up our food and give us the regen bonuses. Alright. Somewhere back here should be a big lad. First we gotta deal with all these little shits that pop out on the way. I'm hoping that my parry timing should be a little better in this episode now that I played yesterday, so it should still be kind of fresh. But this Black Ox Beetle is not a reskin, so I don't exactly know what attacks it has. I remember a few of them, but I don't remember all of them. I know it can, like, throw a rock at you that it digs up. But yeah, beyond that, I don't really remember what exactly its capabilities are. Also, where is that trench? It's like all the way over here. I think it's over a look. where it comes out is where we should find them. Because, yeah. We're going to explore these trenches once we get some better gear. But there is a lot of larva down there. They're kind of just constantly popping out of the floor. Okay. I saw one or two of them around here, I think. In fact, I think that's what we're hearing right now. Yep. So, again, they are resistant to 
stabbing, slashing, and chopping, which means we have to use the hammer. It's the only thing that's really gonna hurt them. I don't think we should go for this one because there's one by the entrance. We should take that one out first because we definitely don't want to fight two of these at once. Though, I do wonder if we could cheese one of these guys. Ooh, new track. That's how you can tell they're extra dangerous. I wonder if he can jump up here. I did say we would use whatever advantage we can get. Oh yeah, he is actually, I think, heading towards the exit. Which is over here. Older. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can't just let these guys keep hitting me. They're not the focus here, but they do a significant amount of damage with our armor right now. He is still aggroed on us, and he did find his way out while we were doing that. Uh, okay. Going to try. First, I'm going to get my buffs going and get some healing. Uh, beetle is bigger than a robber oh. and has a giant horn. You can do this to me. Oh, God. I didn't mean to drop it. <laughs> oh, well, we hit him a little bit. But, yeah, I think we uh, just don't get close because he's not that quick. So he does probably have a charge attack, which is what he just tried to do. Boulder's not too hard to avoid, and it kind of kind of just goes wherever, very physically. Ooh, yeah, that does a lot of damage. Gonna heal up. Oh, oh, ran over my head. All right, let's get the hammer out. Though we could probably keep using arrows for a bit. Actually, that charge didn't do as much damage as the rock. Ugh. I think that's his strongest attack, even though it's not a direct hit. Alright, well... Considering this is the theme of the episode, I think this is a fitting thumbnail. Even if there is silly grass chunks in the way. Alright, parried him. He didn't send me flying like the ladybird. I think that's a good one. Just gotta get the lighting right. But yeah, they are pretty massive, and, you know, they are a type of rhinoceros beetle, as you can see. Not a Hercules beetle, as I frequently confuse with stag beetles. Alright, photo settings, we're going to fix this, and we are going to change the sun, because it's getting kind of dark. Uh, the lighting is very, like, orange at this time of day. Even, even like, you know, high noon. Alright. Not the best lighting, but I have to accept that the lighting in this game is going to kind of do its own thing, and I can only nudge it as much as I can. You know, there's a a degree where I can't do anything about it. Boy, that does not do a lot of damage. What the hell was that? Oh, 
Alright. Not going too badly. There is a larva, though. Alright. The larva is now aggroed on him. That'll give us some free damage. And hopefully get rid of the larva. Because <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Larva down. The beetle also down. Oh, the larva's not down. The larva actually got the kill. Whatever. We could still get just as many drops from it. It doesn't, like, reduce our drops. We got one horn, two parts, and some tough gunk. Alright. That was not easy. Looks like we still have our defense and damage buff, though, for a little bit. So let's see if we can find ourselves another one real quick. I don't think we have enough parts to make the hammer yet. Oop. Treasure over there. Don't even need to boil it. Not a scarab though, because you'd be able to see it from this distance. Taking a look. But these might get us some crow feathers, which are never an easy material to get. Oh no, just a little bit of salt. Notice, too, that these sparklies don't require direct sunlight like the ones in the desert. I think you can kind of always see them. They all appear to be salt. We can outrun the larva. There was a cave entrance down here that we could see from above, but I'm not exactly sure where that is. I'm also not sure where this other beetle would be. I'm not seeing one. That looks like a spider hole. I can see the legs. In fact, what is that? That is just an orb weaver. So we don't need to worry about that. Hmm. Well, maybe there's not always two black ox beetles down here. Though, I think the one we fought was not at the exit that I was thinking of, so there might be another one, like, over here. Yep, there's one. Alright, he has immediately spotted me. Hit me with a spin attack. This is going to take a lot longer if we're just using the hammer. <laughs> See, that didn't hurt that much. Like, I expected all of their hits to be really big. Oh, don't want to blow myself up. Yeah, those are really hard to use offensively. <laughs> I think you have to make the sticky ones if you want to use them in a fight. Okay, kind of let him hit me with that one. So the weak point, I think, was under the body. Well, we're getting some good stuns on him. We got another larva buddy. Go. Get some infighting going. He really wants to fight me, but he's like, ugh. Gotta pay attention to this little shit nipping at my heels. Ooh, yeah, I cannot 
sprint away from that. I have to block it. I like that the larvae are getting all the kills for us, but I'll take it. They have way too much health for me to complain about getting some assistance from the other wildlife. Okay, we might have enough now to make a hammer, so we're going to head over to that research outpost up here. We found last time, and we're going to scan our stuff. But that went pretty well. I feel like we had less trouble with that guy than with the ladybird. Then again, I did have a bunch of buffs this time, whereas the ladybird, I just ran up and started smacking it. But, if we can get the hammer already, then we are ahead of where I thought we'd be in this episode, and we can maybe get ourselves a new weapon after all. Or a new armor, but I don't know what exactly we'd need for the armor. I mean, if we get the hammer, then we can kill the roly-polies more easily. And then make the armor out of that. They're heavy armor, though, so I probably don't want to go with that permanently. But as a stand-in, until we get better armor, that might be a good choice. The tooth around here. I think it's underground, though. We're high up. The camp is up here by the axe. We didn't check out the top of the wood pile, because there is some stuff up there, but I think if we want to get to the chip, we do need to go through that tunnel that we tried to try to push into, but there was too many termites. I think splinters also come back. They're a respawning resource, even though they don't look like they should. Alright, so Black Ox first, because that's our most important thing. Hammer and Helm. Alright, and there's everything else, including a crossbow. I didn't realize that there was an upgraded crossbow from these guys. But we could definitely use a better crossbow. All right, and with our last one, I guess we'll scan the shell. That'll get us the roly-poly set, the kind of Roman centurion armor. Okay, now let's look at the crafting recipe for it. Because we probably need things that we don't have yet. Yeah, we need pupa leather, which I actually thought we needed the hammer to get, but I guess not. But that is one of the resources that we can find here in the upper yard. We just have to find some pupa. But otherwise, it looks like we have enough parts to make the hammer. Okay, pupa leather. Hmm. I think the best place to find pupa is going to be down in the trenches, actually. Uh, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't equip a new dandelion. That's a little shitty, but if we can find one around here, we can replace it. Not seeing any. I mean, obviously there's a dandelion there, but we need the ones with the tufts, not the regular flower. Alright, can I get down here without breaking anything? Alright, so a little, little tick of damage. I guess we do have fall resistance now from the mac and bees. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a few pupa over underneath the porch, but most of them are going to be in the trenches, I think. I 
However, if we can just snag a few here without pissing off the ladybirds. Those are them right there. But, obviously we can't reach these ones. There might be one that's low enough we can grab. Come on. I have done nothing to you. Alright. We're gonna need a torch, because it is My mom always very says dark. I up a room. And I'm just going to have to squint very hard at the ceiling. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Alright, that got us one. Now, we get pupa hide out of these, not pupa leather. We have to, I believe, hang them up on a jerky rack to get the leather. I'll well grab this while we're here because I'm not going to remember it. And we don't have any marble recipes yet for making the plating without needing marble. Alright, let's see if we can snag any more low hanging ones. I think we're going to need to make more lean tos up here though. Just so we don't have to run around at night. Just trying to find these things at night is not fun when you can see about a foot in front of you. Look at that. There's a pebblet all the way out here. It's like a weird seam between where the porch hits the concrete siding? I don't actually know what this is right here. This is the point beyond which there is nothing but mystery. Actually, no, never mind. This is not the edge of the porch like I thought it was. This is uh, just a support. Oh yeah, we did see Take this from look. above, which means, yep, there's going to be one of those there. That we don't want to mess with. Alright, we might just head back to the zip line because there's a lean-to there. So we can skip today and maybe hunt a few more pupa. I think our best bet for finding more pupa is going to be if we scan the one we found and then we can put it into the resource detector and it'll show us where the other pupa are around here. Because I don't exactly know where to look and I don't really want to have to spend a long time looking. What is that coming through the grass? Very small spider. Funny to see these guys now that they're like the weakest thing in the area. Alright, are we heading the right way? I think we're heading the right way. But even one of these ladybird larvae is stronger than a than an orb weaver. Definitely stronger than an orb weaver junior. Alright, where's our zippy? It's all the way over there. I think once we get a new spear, we should be ready to do the event to get the Coltana, but I might actually put down a turret in there because turrets, it turns out, do significant damage to defense enemies. As I mentioned in the building bonus episode, our base came under attack by mosquitoes, you know, uh, wave defense, and the turret took out like a third of their health per shot. So if we plop down one of those, I think we can probably defend the Coltana more effectively than trying to trying to do it by just whacking them. Because there was a lot of them last time. We got kind of overwhelmed. Also a nice change here, another one of those quality of life changes, is that you can now sleep to morning. Instead of, like, 
going to sleep at midnight and waking up at 8. If it's late enough, it will let you sleep till morning. Alright, new day, and that means we need to eat again. We'll use the case of the antlion. Salt! And now, oh, I guess I should drink a bit of water too. I feel like I actually haven't been using the canteen as much anymore because of the upgrades to my water meter. I think we have 130% water now, so it doesn't run out quickly enough that I feel like can't just find a drop around usually. I say that, and there's one right here. So, now that we have the pupa, we are going to need to go back to base to actually dry it, but again, I want to see if we can grab some more, because that is one of the materials we're going to need for, like, everything, including armor. I made a bridge around here somewhere across the trench, but I don't remember which trench I put a bridge across. Just for, like, convenience, so we didn't have to always go the long way around these. I say, and then I end up on the wrong side. Oh, can we make it? We made it. And there's a dandelion, which I am going to grab while I remember. And we still have not found the trinket version, which apparently exists, but the trinket drops are so low that we might never get one. Though I think this is the point in the game when enemies will start dropping trinkets, because all of the upper yard enemies seem to have a potential trinket they can drop. Trying to get back to the marker. I don't know why it's not showing up, but... Up there. Did we actually check this box of hot cha-chas? Get in here? No. That one probably spawns down below it every day. Ugh. Also, did I equip? I did equip. Alright. Scan this. Make people leather, and then scan this. Only good for splinter arrows. Well, I guess other stuff might have it in their recipe and not tell us. And we already learned all of that. But we need the raw science, so that's a nice thing to have. We need that for our building project. Alright, now that we did that, we can scan for pupa. I wonder where these ones are, because that looks like it's in the shed. That might be an underground area. I know there's a new underground area around here somewhere. But then you can see there's a bunch of them in the trenches, so we're going to go for those ones, I guess. And we'll just see how many we can grab before we need to head back to base, but then we'll head back to base, we'll make the leather, we'll make the hammer, and we will maybe come back here and pop that battery, or fuse, into the spacer. Not spacer. Uh, scabby. The one that we needed a hammer to open. <laughs> Alright, should be a bunch of them underneath.
Yep, they are just kind of lying around in the dirt here. Very exposed to any predators. Never to reach maturity. Some of those pieces are very small and hard to spot <laughs> when they fall out. Okay, I think we got all these ones. Uh, there is Spider Hell over there. Nope. That's definitely not salt. It is mint. Batches over here. Actually, not really any larvae over here, is there? I know I said they're like everywhere down here, but I guess there are some safe spots. See, I hate that the fake pieces also have the shine on them, because I like try to pick them up quickly, but they're just there to fake you out. And okay, there's another one over here. Bunch of salt over here as well. Seems like they mostly drop one or two pieces. I mean, we might as well grab this, but we still can't actually make elemental weapons. Again, we need to push our way into the Termite mound to get those. Alright, I think we got all the ones up here, so... A big clump over here. Assuming we can find the correct trench that leads there, but... I don't think they're very... Labyrinthine. Do you wonder why this trench is here, though? Like, I know that they said that they had people in the yard digging up, like, pipes. But I'm not sure if that is the case here. Why is there a Take black a ant look. here? Are you going to attack me, too? Yep. All ants are hostile up here. I mean, you asked for it, so... <laughs> feel no sympathy for you. Alright. More people over here. Definitely not easy to spot. Some of them actually might be up on the ledges as well. I don't know if they're all down here in the dirt. Oh, I almost missed that one. Okay, we have 11, which is a... Uh... Good start. Might be two more over here, but I think then we can head back. A lot less struggle to get these than I expected. Really thought there would be uh, more larva attacking. Should be like one right here. Jump and see if I can. Yep, there it is. Okay, 14 is a pretty good amount. Especially because we don't even know what else we need it for or how much. So, I would call that already another successful episode. We're not going to end yet, of course, but... We accomplished my initial goal very quickly, which is nice. There was nothing in there but an omelant. Oh, this is the cave we saw. I'm just gonna look in there. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to look in here. I don't know what that sound is. 
Is that termites? I don't know what we're gonna find down here. But I'm curious, so we're gonna explore a little bit. And if we run into anything horrible, I'm going to run away. They are indeed termites. Why are there termites over here, in, in the ground? Always use more termite parts. seem to be workers, though. Which is good, because we can actually bully the workers. Alright, now what were you guys protecting? Aside from this marble. Yeah, I don't know anything about this hole, because I don't even think this was here last time I played. So this is like a whole separate termite hole. What do we got over here? Dirty quartzite? I don't know if I have room for this. We've got to be running out of room. Yeah, 37 to 40. Hungry termite looking for a wood burger. There's a lot of termite in there. All right, how do we get out? We'll just remember this is here. In fact, I wish I could put a trail marker down, but we don't have the material for it. And you can't just set like waypoints on your map. You actually do need to build a trail marker. All right, well, back to base. Unfortunately, even if we make better armor, I think we might have to keep the antlion armor, or, yeah, the antlion armor, for doing the Coltana event, because it is in the barbecue zone, and the Coltana itself is very hot. What do we need to build a turret? Probably look at that now, for when we come back. And what category is that under? Probably not decorative. There it is. Acorn shell, acorn top, silk rope, petal, weed stem. Yeah, okay, we can grab all that from the base except the weed stem. And then we can plop down a turret in here. We're also gonna need rocks for ammo. Now that hopefully will make the event easier. should build the zipline going back to base. I think it's become apparent that we are going to be doing a lot of back and forth from here. So being able to get back quicker would really simplify things, since then we can just quickly go back and forth without having to do any walking from here. However, I don't know if there's a 
I don't know if there's a good high spot that we can use. Because the speed that you traverse a zipline is very dependent on the angle and the height. So if you make it really shallow, it's going to take you forever to actually get down, and it might be faster to just jump off. Also, now that we have the termite axe, we can actually cut down these burrs that we created once we turned off the haze. And those are used for a couple different new things, as well as, I think, just giving you a bunch of wheat stem. So we'll grab those, because we can scan them. And really just keep rolling. <laughs> like tumbleweeds. Though, did you know that tumbleweeds are actually the seed of the tumbleweed plant? That's basically how they they spread their weeds, is either the whole plant becomes a seed and starts rolling around, or everything above the roots breaks off and rolls around before the seeds pop out. Nice and clean. In case you were ever wondering if a tumbleweed is like an actual plant and functions like that for a reason, the answer is yes. I was curious and I looked it up the other day. Okay. We're going to deposit all of our new bug parts, as well as our old bug parts. And our upgrade materials. And the plant stuff. Uh, we should probably scan this, but... I'm gonna just throw it in there for now. Throw this in here with the other weird materials. Uh, we gotta go over to the jerky racks and start curing this larva. Or pupa. I think you actually, like with the berries, you can make berry leather without needing a bunch, but yeah, it costs five in order to make one. So it is way more efficient to dry them like this, but that doesn't mean we're going to have to wait for a bit. However, we could go check out one of those other things that I was uh, mentioning in the last episode around the normal yard while we wait for these to cure, or we could go build the turret and try to do the event. We have options. And none of those options need to be stand here and wait for these things to dry. <laughs> If it was night, we could just sleep, because they're pretty much always done when you do that. But it is not, so... I'm gonna have to do it the slower way. Alright. That'll get us 12 leather, which is... Uh, way more than we need. Right now. It'll all get used eventually, but... For the moment, where do we want to go? I kind of want to go back to Spider Cave. I feel like that is unfinished business that we're probably kind of over-leveled for now with our equipment. Uh, do we need anything to go in there? We have a torch. How much durability? We've got a decent amount. Uh, we've still got our healing stuff. We've got bombs in case there's a rock down there. Yeah, I think we should be good. All right. I'm going to make a little detour. See what's in that cave. If it's probably nothing worthwhile and <laughs> it's just full of spiders including a wolf spider, so I am actually going to do it now before I forget. I'm going to... Equip Mithridatism so that we don't get poisoned by the wolf spider. Well, you do get poisoned because it doesn't give you full immunity anymore, but... better than nothing. Thankfully, the cave itself should be easy to find, because it's next to the like, hamster gravestone or whatever, which is next to the rake. So, easy to find that one. There's also the larva cave, which we need a bomb to get inside. So, 
that one I kind of remember that is as well. It's in Trowel Gulch. So we might uh, poke in there, but there are about 100 larvae in there. As well as a research station, a field station. I think this time we just, like, besiege it from the front. We're not even going to worry about dropping in. Alright, well that hurt. We do a lot of damage now. Finally got our sweet revenge from when we had to sneak past that guy. And all these little shits. We'll take their web fiber, because we're going to need more silk rope. Most of the new stuff is going to use lint rope, but silk rope is always useful, especially for building. The hamster number three, 1986 to 1987, did not live a long, fulfilling life. All right, I don't even know how big this cave is. We didn't really get a great look, seeing as we fell in here in the pitch darkness and had to crawl our way out. There was only one wolf spider in here. I think the rest is all uh, orb weavers. I keep expecting these guys to pop out now after we've been dealing with the ladybird larva. Alright, here's the main room. Where there's spiderling, there's spiderlings. This is not even good quartzite, it's all <laughs> riddle quartzite. Alright. Kind of curious if I can aggro one of these orb weavers from over here. They can't really do much but shoot web at me. Stuck in a web. Which is annoying, but otherwise, not a big deal. I wonder if we could cheese the wolf spider from here, from the other side. We didn't need to do that, we could have just bought him hand to hand, no issue. But why be wasteful? Each of these guys is equivalent to one of these webs. So they are worth killing en masse if we can. Is there anything in the water? Doesn't look like it. It's very shallow. Grab all our arrows. Oh boy. Now, I don't know if that is supposed to be Dan the hamster, but this is the skeleton that they mentioned. It does definitely look too big to be a hamster, considering uh, our relative size. Hamsters are not very big. Also, I don't know if hamsters have that particular arrangement of rodent teeth. I don't really know uh, rodent skeletons that well.
Well, that's cool, though. I like it's also a kind of haphazard pile of bones. Pete, the archaeologist, and his latest discovery. Would you still call it an archaeologist? If you're digging up bones, but not fossilized bones? Because you're only a paleontologist if you're looking for ancient bones. Actually, really bright down here at this time of day. Let's see if we can... Yeah, moonlight looks better. Sun angle offset doesn't do anything. So I assume we must have, like, fallen right into this room when we came from above, based on where the light is coming from. I fucked it up. Gotta make sure the camera's not stuck in anything when you switch to free mode. This does, however, make it even more noticeable that there are no, like, small mammals in this game at all. There's not really a lot of larger creatures. There's the bird, there's the koi, and that's about it for, like, non-insects or crustaceans or whatever. We don't get any squirrels or chipmunks or anything like that. There was going to be a lizard boss, as I might have shown in one of the earlier episodes. I didn't talk about it because I didn't know about it, but I found out about it later. That was going to be underneath the sandcastle in the sandbox. So... That would have been interesting, but it seems like they decided they didn't want to have any kind of fleshier creatures in the game. Alright. Well, that's about all that's down here. Now, do you think the gum <laughs> is what killed the mysterious rodent that may have been a hamster? They were unable to digest it, and it did not break down even after the rest of them did. A lot of gum. But actually, just three nuggets, so not really anymore. I wish we could do something with this. This is scabby on the tooth. Syndrome. We haven't changed our scabby for a while, but I've been kind of digging the color scheme we have. Alright, and that is all there is to see here. It's actually not a very big cave, though I think this is the biggest spider cave, because there are a couple other little, like, holes with spiders in them, and this is the largest of them. All right, before we head back to base, our uh, pupa should be nearly done if they're not already, and if not, well, it's almost nightfall, so we can just sleep and get them. I want to find that larva cave, because it's pretty close to here. It's in this dried out zone. Got to find the trowel. I think the trowel might be... No? I was going to say, it might be a landmark marked on here. I know we did a quest to put down a trail marker there, but I don't think that's still there. I might have hidden it. <laughs> Definitely not going to be easier to find at night. Okay, there is the log, or plank, which means it should be over this way. As it goes pretty close to that. We're gonna like run into a wolf spider in the dark. And then we are going to kill it. Yoked Earth Head. Hmm. I mean, we're pretty close to the water now, which means we are too far. I think we need to go north. 
Yeah, there's the water right there. We need to go towards the pond. Any y'all rebels seen any trowels around here? Is that a trowel? Nope, that's the spacer. Okay, there's a larva. Those mites are no match for the mites of small peat. I just like following this larva to see if he leads me home. Ah, oh, there's a feather up there. And another one. We could use those. Okay. We've got a field station. There is a field station in the larva cave, so... Gotta be going the right way. i just like to cross this off because it's been on the back of my mind. That is one of the things we need to do. Even though we're kind of like... Overleveled to actually need to go in there. I think there's just gonna be some quartzite and marble in there. Which we can use, especially to upgrade our, our new hammer we're about to make. But we did also get a bunch. All right, we found it. We finally found the damn French. So, oh, I did leave a marker here, and I did blow it open already. I forgot. We haven't been in here, but I was like, okay, I should open that up while I'm here, so I remember. All right. Grab that. Guess we will. Ah, eh, we'll probably use this against the larva. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of quartzite in here. <laughs> Gonna turn all of this into plating. <laughs> or whetstones, I guess. And here is another bomb. I actually I don't remember if there was two of these or. I forgot. That there was only one, and it was all the way down here. Alright. Here we go, more of this weird underground grassy stuff that we see in the ant nest. Field station. More off science. More quartzite. More marble. Granola bars, it's been a while since we found any of those. Also, with the Black Ox Hammer, we can now harvest the Tier 3 Quartzite and Marble, but we still can't even really do anything with the Tier 2, so... <laughs> Not that useful to us. Yet. But it will be. Eventually, we'll be able to make use of all the stuff we stored up. Another bomb? God damn. I mean, we've had these bombs sitting around for so long that I don't feel bad using them. I'm gonna have to make more. But, like, we made them to use them, so there's no point in holding on to them. Alright, there's a lot of larva sleeping in here. We should be able to take them. I, I don't know why you specifically came at me. Oh, okay, they're weak against... Or, they're resistant to chopping, so we can't use the axe for that. killed all the ones that are above the surface right now. Though I'm still getting combat music, oh, there's still one right there. Okay, they actually did pretty good damage to me. Partially because I wasn't really blocking them. I don't know what's at the other end of this tunnel. 
apparently it's just the way out. I think I think that's the hole that we saw a bunch of larvae go into one time. Because remember when we saw like three of them just scoot by? I think a bunch of them come in here to sleep. I don't know why field stations don't get marked properly. Like you can see, we have the thing telling us there's one here, but it isn't popping up saying field station, so that marker won't actually go away. Maybe it's because I didn't use this thing? Uh, we have the roof recipe, but I also wanted the ladders. And then there was one more thing that was also like 2,500. Oh yeah, curved bases, which we can use to fill in those corners of the castle, at least on the second floor. Because I was like, oh, well, if I build these, there's just going to be a weird space, right? But yeah, we can grab that. All right, now we are going to head back to base. Head back to base, make our hammer, and then that will be the end of this episode. Very good progress again, and next time we can start stocking up on all kinds of new gear. Collecting all those new resources that we came across when we were in the upper yard. Uh, rust and... Well, I mean, rust we can actually get down here once we have the hammer. But we want to get rust, and we want to get the lint to make lint rope, and what else? I can't remember what else, but there was definitely other ones we came across. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not really going the right way. We are kind of on the other side of the map from our base. But, as we've said before, this map does not take that long to traverse. Don't even even if you're on the opposite it. end. We'll probably get some rust here. Yeah, if we pop these open with the hammer. Mind if I do? So I'm thinking next episode we're going to work on getting better armor and weapons. And then probably the episode after that we're going to start heading east in the upper yard to check out the entirely new area. I think there are some more new bugs up there, like a moth and... Well, there's another boss up there, but I don't know how we're going to summon that. I have no idea where to get the recipe. Uh, there's going to be more of those fire ants that we ran into like two of. Oh, hello. Just a lot of new stuff to see. Oh, and we're probably going to go into the termite nest. I keep forgetting about that one. Because there's not even that much more termite to see beyond where we went. We just have to find the room with the termite kings. I say termite kings. I think there's only one at a time, but they respawn. They're like a respawning mini boss, and you need them to make the termite armor. If it just got nuked. Aphids, nature's lollipops. Kind of hoping that would kill him in one shot. I don't want to lose my axe here and have to come find it.
I need those ladders so that I can get up into my defense towers, because I was going to put turrets up there, <laughs> even if we end up never using them. I don't know, maybe the termites will find their way here after all. Okay. So we're going to sleep. And then we're going to grab our leather. No water filtration tablets needed. I think we probably have to scan these two, but I don't know if we'll get anything new out of them. Might just get some brain power. Uh, and we grab the ones over here. I gotta move these outside. I keep forgetting to do that. Things are, you know, still in disarray. I haven't <laughs> bothered to shuffle everything around. I haven't done another building episode yet. Alright. Now we do the final touch. We make ourselves a hammer. Bam. The hammer, but it's got like spiky horn bits on the end. You can see it does about twice as much damage as our current hammer without any upgrades. Not as big as I expected. Actually, kind of thinner. But we also want to upgrade it. Let me put away my torch. So let us make the upgrade materials. I think we made a lot of these last time as well, but... Might as well make them while we have all this material. Keep one of those in there for sorting purposes. The only reason I don't use Hot Drop Doll is because it keeps depositing my sword. <laughs> Once I put that other antlion sword on a, a wall plaque, it'll stop doing that, but I haven't done that yet. I keep forgetting that I accidentally made a second one. So, go here, grab this. Where is it? Now oh, it's in my hand. Get that up to level 5. Now, we could just upgrade this with the Mighty Glob, but again, I don't know if we want Elemental. We probably don't, just because this is one of our main tools, so I prefer it to be kind of multi-purpose. Alright, I'm going to commit. I'm just going to fucking do that. It's not that hard to replace, especially because we have one of these now, so we can use it to kill Black Ox Beetles pretty effectively. Let's check out that damage. Yeah, that is pretty significant. That is getting close to how much... Actually, that is about as much damage as our Antlion Sword does. So, that should make a big difference when we're fighting the tough shit that's been smacking us around. What we don't have yet is another shield option. I don't know what the Tier 3 shield is. So, hopefully we can find that next time, but for now, thank you for joining me for some more Grounded. Hope you had fun. I did. And I'm glad we made pretty significant progress. I wasn't sure if we were going to struggle with this hammer or not, but I'm glad that we didn't. So until the next one, you folks all take care.